LA Galaxy midfielder Tyler Boyd. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with Alex. Hey, Tyler. Um, thanks for your time. Um, obviously, uh, now you guys are eliminated from playoff contention. I guess you can maybe talk about what this experience has been like. Obviously, it's been an up and down season, both on and off the pitch. So if I could get your thoughts on that. Yeah, definitely mo more downs than ups, for sure. It wasn't uh, the first season that I had imagined. Um, yeah, just devastating not to make it to the playoffs. Um, not good enough really, but uh, we've had a lot of injuries, a lot of players out, so it's just been unlucky on that aspect as, as far as having a lot of our main guys out and um, yeah, just devastated to be honest. Yeah, and I kind of wanted to get a player's perspective on, on Banny. How do you think um, he's kind of handled this season and managed you guys because you guys were in it until, you know, in a lot of these games? Yeah, I think we fought hard. We fought hard to come back from games. We we got some good results. Um, since the end of May, we've strung together quite a few games, and I just think it's tough. Uh, how many injuries do we have? Eight. Um, we've had four or five season-ending injuries, and like I said, to some of our most important players. Um, it's tough. You, you train all year. You, you start to develop some chemistry between the starting 11 and the players and the player group and and uh, we have crazy injuries like that so it's so hard to manage that that sort of situation um, yeah um, yeah my final question on a personal note you scored seven goals this season I think this is the most you've scored in league play during your career I mean you could talk about that and maybe uh, being able to do that with the with the galaxy yeah, it's good. I think it's one of the first years I've I've actually played all season and had proper minutes. Um, so, yeah, it's nice scoring a few goals, but uh, the end goal for me is playoffs and, and that trophy at the end. So it, it's bittersweet. Um, obviously, I never take it for granted to play for this club and it's a blessing to score and help contribute. But, um, yeah... My, my head isn't really thinking about that right now. Thanks, Tyler, for your time. Uh, next, we'll go to Josh. Hey, Tyler, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Um, you scored the goal in this game to make it 1-1. It sort of felt like there was some life there with, with you guys and that, you know, you had some chances that came up just short and, you know, really you could have probably maybe piled on some more goals, but that goal that was scored right at the end of halftime, how much do you think that, that really affected you guys? Yeah, I think we had some good chances first half. We, we, uh, I mean, fo football's a game of moments, and I mean, if we scored three against them, I think the tables would have turned and they would have been down. But uh, we have come back from a two-one deficit before, and it, we we've come back recently as well. But um, tonight wasn't the night. Uh, we weren't good enough, and um, yeah, just disappointing. Do you guys have, or did you discuss it at all? Obviously, the the, the not making the playoffs is a, is a big deal, but you guys have two games left. Did you sort of say anything in the locker room afterwards about what you're sort of expecting out of the next two games from you guys? Yeah, just to uh, to give it our all. Um, don't drop our heads. I mean, we're still going to compete just as hard, uh, prepare just as well, and... Um, yeah, it's not like we're giving up. It, we might not make playoffs, but we can still build towards next season and um, still work on things and improve as a team, improve as a group, and show our character despite not um, being able to reach the playoffs. Thanks, Tyler. Trump, safe. Thank you. And we'll wrap up with Scott. Hey, Tyler. Um, there's a lot of context around this season and, and the things that occurred uh, you know, all the way from the start. Um, and, and you mentioned injuries, which is probably the biggest one of them and really, really did hurt this team. And I'm wondering from a player's perspective, how did that make it so difficult, aside from not having those guys? It, it just in terms of uh, relating to each other, um, depth, so forth, uh, those type of things. And you, I, I, I'm sure you've been through some seasons in the past where you've had had teams that had maybe too many injuries and not enough depth uh, and had to deal with that. How much different is it in MLS 
in terms of uh, trying to, to build that kind of depth within a roster as things are going on versus when you've played overseas? Thank you. Yeah, obviously we had, we had uh, a, a transfer ban in the summer, so we couldn't buy players. So uh, that made it difficult. And as far as being in a team with this many injuries, I've never been in a team with this many bad injuries, honestly. It's, I think it would be hard to find a team that's had this many bad injuries. It's, it's been unbelievable. Um, so I, I think it's been a bit unlucky. Um, having that transfer ban as well, it's made it tough. Um, and obviously the salary cap, it makes it even more hard in this league. So, yeah, um, just, I mean, when it rains, it pours. It, it was tough. Yeah. Thanks uh, for your in, time, in Tyler. Of being on the field, was, is it just a matter of not having enough time on the practice field when you're having to play every three days? I don't think so. I, I mean... In Europe, you play every three days as well, so um, you might not uh, travel as much. The, the traveling here is pretty intense, um, having to fi fly four or five hours, so you have to adapt. But I just think it comes down to being a little bit unlucky with the ACLs we've had, with the knee injuries. Um, they haven't been huge muscle injuries, so I think sometimes that comes down to bad luck. Um, I mean, look at Lucas, look at Chicha. The, they're the most professional athletes you can imagine. They take care of themselves so well. H how can you put that down to anything but, I mean, bad luck or a slip of the field or, you know? So, they, I mean, the boys, all, all the boys, to be honest, who, who are injured are good professional athletes and they take care of their bodies and they're, they're not um, doing anything wrong. So. I honestly don't know what to what that's down to. All right, thanks for your time. Thanks guys.